If you thought regular cars were expensive, wait till you hear what collectors are paying at high-end auctions. $7.6 million. Holy, Holy sh <laughs> That's a lot of cars and coffee. I'm talking Barrett Jackson. I'm talking Miko. I'm talking Sotheby's. I'm talking places where Jeremiah buys his Rolexes. <laughs> Today we're going to look at some of the most prestigious rides sold at high-end auctions and we're both going to guess how much they sold for. I've never won this! I don't know why I keep doing it! I'm James, he's Jeremiah, welcome to Donut. Our first vehicle is a 2000 Honda Civic Type R from Japan with only 1500 miles that sold at the USS Tokyo auction. It was rated a 4.5 out of 5 by the auction, which according to Jimmy is really Good. Have you heard of USS Tokyo auction before? No. Me either. Sounds like a boat. <laughs> I was say, it sounds like a warship. USS Tokyo? Yeah, yeah. This is a good one for Max to start the game off with because... Really throw us through a loop. Yeah, we don't know the auction site and I don't, I don't know what someone would pay for this, but you know what? Time for us to guess. I'm thinking someone paid $93,000. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna say 25 grand. The Civic Type R sold for $73,000. Jeez <laughs> Louise, I still win, but oh you my lord. $73,000 <laughs> $73, for a Honda, Honda Civic? Civic? <laughs> Get out of my face, dude. Our next car is a 1970 Nissan Fair Lady Z. $750,000. <laughs> it sold at BH Auctions in Tokyo, a Z432R which has a bigger fuel tank for endurance racing. The body panels are 0.2 millimeters thinner and the side and rear windows are made of a lightweight acrylic. Only 30 to 50 of these were built. You know, I was joking by guessing that mm -hmm. high, mm -hmm. but not only is this an old, relatively increasingly rare car, mm -hmm. this is like a special one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a, I have a value in my head already. Yeah? Yeah, but you, you won the round, so you gotta go first. I guess. 350 grand. I'm gonna say 400 grand. 400 grand. The Fair Lady Z sold for $805,000. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> almost a million dollars <laughs> for an old Nissan. All right, well, I'm already depressed. Thanks, yeah. Matt. I don't know what is real. All right, well, moving on to our next car. This is a 1987 Porsche 959 Comfort Edition that's sold at Monterey Car Week with only 3,500 miles on it, but she absolutely wrecked. It yeah, who wrecked it? got into an accident while being trailered. Oh, I know what that's like. Oh, yeah, we do. And uh, we're gonna have to fix it. We already get a nice clean one, like, I don't know, three million bucks. So three million? I don't know, I have no idea. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's like right in that area. So if someone's gonna want the rear half and the motor and all that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 1.5 million. Cool mill. Well, the 959 was actually an absolute bargain at $467,000. Oh, wow. We overshot. We really did. <sighs> <laughs> All right, our next vehicle is a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro Yanko oh, Super Camaro. Oh, Yanko. Yanko. Yanko, bro. Yanko was a dealer back in the 60s. At the time, Chevrolet wouldn't let you put an engine that was in the Corvette in a Camaro. Yeah. And so what he did is he found out that he could special order uh, like cop cars and stuff uh -huh. like that. He could use that form and put whatever engines he wanted in them. I think these have what, 427s in them? 427 that makes 450 horsepower. And this yeah. is part of the Yanko Supercar Registry. I'm gonna say 1.2. $2 million. That's a great guess. Do I go under or over that though? Okay, I gotta go over. <laughs> I gotta go over. Yeah. Right? You got to. Or else you would be laying in bed tonight and you'd be like, ah! <laughs> I went under. <laughs> I'm not gonna go dollar over like a punk. No, you're not a punk. I'm not a punk. You're an honorable gentleman. 1.4 mil. That's why I love having you around. <laughs> Super Camaro sold for 632,000. Another bargain. <laughs> We don't know anything! We don't know anything! <laughs> That's great though. That's a great deal. <laughs> We're moving on to a vehicle that we all know around here, the Honda ATC 250R. This actually did sell on Bring a Trailer. It has zinc coated components, brand new paint. Supposedly the most dangerous vehicle ever made. A lot of people died on them. Like, like when we say a lot, you're probably like, oh, this many. Yeah. Way more. Yeah. Way Hundreds. More. So what uh, Honda did, they marketed this 
very dangerous automobile to moms who had sons. They're like, hey, you don't want a motorcycle. Those are dangerous. Mm -hmm. This thing right here, this thing's safe. Turns out they're not safe at all. A lot of people died on them. This thing killed hundreds of children. Yeah. So we thought, hey, is it really that dangerous? Why don't we buy one? Why don't we buy one? And I, why don't I ride it? Why don't you ride it? See how dangerous it is. So be on the lookout for that video. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. I almost axed this video because it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. 24,700. I, th I think it's 19,007. The ATC actually sold for 26,500. Oh, shit. Yeah. Neither of us knew. <laughs> Neither of us knew. Twenty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks like a butte. That's a nice. I mean, it's a nice three-wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is a 2002 Volkswagen GTI at Silverstone Auctions. It's a 337 edition. Very cool. BBS RCs. Yeah, those are sick. And it only has eight miles on it. Eight miles? Kind of over front wheel drive cars. You want, you, well, you got a taste of the Z. Yeah, so. I mean, it's just like only so much you can do with them. Yeah. I love to hoon. <laughs> Silverstone, that's fancy. It's beautiful. British people are fancy. But like, how much money do you want to spend on 2002 Volkswagen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say a cool 60. 70,000. I have no clue. I don't know. It actually sold for $45,000. Yeah, it's not really a collector. God, I'm throwing for a loop here. <laughs> I don't understand anything. Max is messing me up. Give me something I can latch yeah, on to. Give us some sort of trend. Okay, up next is a 1965 Ford GT40 Roadster Concept this that sold at Sotheby's. I don't like this. Sotheby's. One of five built in original condition. I don't like the back you end. You don't like it? I like what they well, did. With I it. know how much this is because I bought it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, you don't like it? I'll take it back. To get an original Ford GT, mm -hmm. well over a mil. I right. think. I mean, seven million dollars. I don't know. Four million bucks. I'm going to say four million. What did I say? Seven? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The Ford GT40 Roadster sold for $7.6 million. Holy, Holy sh <laughs> That's a lot of cars and coffee. Oh my God, James. I'm ripping them. <laughs> Smoking you. James, this is your flu game. This is my flu game. I better freaking step up to the plate here. Hua! Up next is Steve McQueen's. Well, Steve McQueen never owned it, but this is the original bullet Mustang used in the movie sold at Meekum. That movie arguably set the scene for every car chase or every mm -hmm. car scene ever. It's less shiny than I thought. Uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's a big old hunk of crap. <laughs> Dude, I bet this thing is beat. <laughs> they beat uh, the crap out of this car. Have you right? watched it recently? Uh uh. It's really boring. Is it? It's a really boring movie. Yeah. There's just like. This like 15 minute scene of him walking home. <laughs> Nobody just, says anything and he just like goes and gets to his house. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like movies. I like TikToks. TikToks. Like TikToks and Starburst candies. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to formulate a guess, but you gotta go first. Wow. $3.5 million. Some <laughs> really spend that much money on You this? know, that's the actual one from the movie. <laughs> Up or down, Jer? Come on, 50 50, freaking nerd. Is it lower or higher than that? It's gotta be higher. No, it can't be higher. It's a piece of junk. <laughs> but it's a piece of junk of history. The movie, no one even cares about that, though. Driven by a Mr. Stephen McQueen in a movie that everyone forgets is boring. It can't be over three and a half million bucks. <laughs> if it's over three and a half million bucks, I'm ripping my shirt off. <laughs> 1.5 million bucks. It's gotta, it's gotta be under that. Three. Seven four million dollars. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> That's merch. Oh, uh, we're releasing new merch stuff like all the time. This is our new shirt. It's puff print. <laughs> Very cool. What? <laughs> I took my shirt. Why? Not gonna just, I was gonna put it on. Okay, try it on. <laughs> James is doing the shirt promo with me half naked. I was gonna do, I was gonna put it on and then have you talk about That's it. That's how you get the ladies in the door. <laughs> Donamedia.com. Up next is not a vehicle, but a hood. What? From a Mugen DC2 Integra. Sold at Yahoo Auctions. Jimmy probably sent this, huh? Oh, of course Jimmy sent it. Yeah, what's a DC2 hood? Integra. Oh, okay. All right, I have an idea. Yeah, go. $850. Oh, no. Yeah, you're really wrong, dude. <laughs> this thing is 
thousands of dollars. You think? Yes. Uh, I'm going to say 1500 bucks to be safe, but I probably, you know, because I don't want to one dollar you, mm -hmm. but I think this thing's probably like six grand. The Mugen hood sold for $12,000. That's insanity. <laughs> Our next vehicle is a 2012 Lexus LFA that sold at Sotheby's. Sotheby's. It's got 1,500 miles on it. This one's the hardest one ever. The problem is they took too Way long. Way too long. Yeah, to build it. And by the time they did, out, it was yeah. slower than everything else and still more expensive. They didn't make a ton of them. But they, and they also didn't sell. Right, they didn't sell, but then, I don't know, I think it's gotta be over a million bucks, right? It's gotta be. One point two five million. One point two five million. I'm gonna say two point three million dollars. Oh. Lexus LFA sold for eight hundred and eight thousand dollars. That's a steal. Ugh. I did say seven seventy nine too, but then I was like, no way, because that price can't be can't can't be under a million dollars. A freaking Datsun sold for that. Are you guys ready for our last car? Yeah. yeah. Our last car is a 2020 Toyota Supra that sold at Barrett Jackson. This is the first Supra off the production line. I bet it's cheaper than you think. It's the first one, so someone, it probably went to like charity. Oh yeah. You know, so it's pro Jay Leno probably bought it. He probably did. And it's probably $250,000. I'm gonna say $120,000. The 2020 Supra, number one, sold for $2.1 million. What? What? Yeah, I win, it. but I don't think anybody will really win. <laughs> hey, congratulations, sir. Thank you. That was fun. That was not fun! <laughs> hoo -ah! Thank you so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. We upload multiple times a week. Make sure you don't miss anything. Go buy yourself some merch. Go get a friend and an internet, and you can play at home. Peace. Mm -hmm.